local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Well, we've got a uh, live shot here up at Lake Metagoshi, the lake. The camera's actually facing directly away from the lake, but still just a beautiful shot. And uh, there's a dense fog advisory that's been issued not all that long ago up in northeastern Montana. This was issued uh, a little earlier this evening, and there may or may not be other counties in North Dakota added. That'll be up to the National Weather Service, and if there's enough fog, that would require them to do so. Uh, as we're looking at uh, what to expect for tonight, I think there will be areas of fog, and some spots might even be dense. And uh, rising temps are already starting to happen in the north. Uh, I'd sat and watched some of the numbers just tick up as I was looking at the map uh, and I think for many folks it might be warmer tomorrow morning when you wake up than it is right now and then uh, for high temperatures tomorrow I think we're going to be looking at 20s along the probably close to the international border and then if you go from about oh say Rolla or Dunseith that area and then down towards uh, Ashley you might be looking at 20s for highs, but once you get west of that, a lot of 30 degree high temperatures tomorrow. That is going to be a nice jump. Might even see some 40s in southwestern North Dakota around Bowman and Hedinger could hit the 40s. And uh, Saturday is going to be cloudy. Unfortunately, it's not going to be really sunny, but it won't be windy. And the temperatures once again on Saturday will remain in the 30s for high temperatures. So uh, it looks like we've got a few days where we get to enjoy these uh, warmer temps before the temperatures start heading back towards normal. So right now, uh, we're looking at uh, a shot of Minot here, and it's 7 degrees, and uh, the wind chill at 5 degrees below zero. Bismarck is at 1. I'm thinking it might have bottomed out. We'll have to see, but it uh, could start going up. And looking at other temperatures, and boy, talk about a difference right down through here to the east, single digits, and some of them below zero, and teens and 20s to the west of that. So just a, quite a sharp little uh, temperature gradient there. The wind speed is roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour, a couple spots 10 to 15, mainly in western North Dakota. So it is providing uh, some wind chills on our absolute comfort wind chill map. Uh, 12 below in Botno and in Rugby for wind chills. Yeah, even Linton at 12 degrees below zero. But you get where it's warmer? Yeah, nothing like that. Uh, and boy, this has been a bad, bad night of weather uh, in the deep south. And I don't know if you've heard about it yet, but this line of thunderstorms right here uh, spawned some tornadoes. I think six fatalities in, uh, at, in uh, Georgia alone. And the pictures that I saw looked like a bomb went off. I mean, this was a, a very, very bad line of thunderstorms. And in the next few hours, it'll make it off to the coast. But right now, uh, there's a lot of people in, in a real hurt there. So let's check out the uh, Climate Prediction Center. Uh, and so this is giving us roughly even odds uh, to go a little bit above, a little bit below normal. Might just think, eh, maybe we'll be around normal. But that's for these dates here, the 20th through the 26th. And then uh, this is giving us at least a bit of a signal for uh, temperature, for the precipitation to be a little bit above average uh, for those dates. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend because the weather is going to warm up, uh, how about some skiing, downhill skiing, right? Huff Hills uh, or maybe the Botano Winter Park. The uh, hours all weekend long will be uh, 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. It's a long uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day weekend, and I know at least Huff Hills is going to be open on Monday. And as we check out the Bismarck seven-day uh, outlook, you can see these warm temperatures fall back to around average, but we've got three days before that happens. So Brooke and Nicholas, I mean, it's not like the best weather we're going to have, but in January, it's a nice little break. It certainly is. It'll be a nice weekend for skiing. Thanks so much, Tom. A little later on in the show, 